Last update at 1705 the 7th of June 2018 RNC in today's episode, hosts Emil Donovan and Max Tal weigh up the chances of the eight remaining teams at the World Cup. Ryan Pierce, Getty Images Can England captain Harry Kane guide his side past Sweden and into the semi-finals? Football There's been a steady death of intriguing narratives at the World Cup, which is precisely what has made it such a fascinating tournament. Beforehand, fans and pundits had looked ahead to a potential rematch between Brazil and Germany, and a chance for the former to banish its demons after losing 7-1 at home in 2014. There was Spain and Germany, and the prospect of one last hurrah for the likes of Andreas Iniesta, Sergio Ramos, Mesut Ozil, Mario Gomez and Manuel Neuer. There's Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo, and Argentina and Lionel Messi, and the chance for one of these two footballing behemoths to finally claim the game's biggest prize. Read more, snuff football writers predict the winners in the quarterfinals and of course, the prospect of yet more penalty heartbreak for England. So far, nothing has gone to plan, and we are facing one of Croatia, Russia, England or Sweden making the final, something you'd scarcely believe three weeks ago. In today's episode of Squeaky Bum Time, RNZ's FIFA World Cup podcast, hosts Emil Donovan and Max Towler joined by Wellington Phoenix superfan, Dale Warburton, and the Totally Football Show's Ian McIntosh to look ahead to this weekend's quarterfinal games. It is usually at this point in the World Cup that a clear favorite emerges and the end of the story becomes clearer. Yet for McIntosh, both Uruguay and Belgium could upset the favored France and Brazil. This feels like a weird thing to say, but man for man I think Belgium has more talent than Brazil, he says. And Uruguay, they've been getting better as the tournament has gone on, and while France were brilliant against Argentina, there's just something about Uruguay. They've played with the same core for a few years that is now reaching its peak, and as for England, we're all just trying to get through these days the best we can but you can't help it. Everyone's got a wall chart and every time you walk past it you can't help but think this could be our year. There is one game the panel can agree on, Croatia beating Russia on Sunday morning. The Rundown 3.14 Is football coming home? 11.00 Quarter final preview 17.00 Moral advice predictions, radio NZ at feedback